Holmes. You simply have to face up to it. You need to have a serious discussion with Kate about her origins. I can't. No more excuses. She will learn soon enough that Alice is leaving. This other hidden secret. She will not forgive you. She does not need to know why. No? So she will blame you for Alice's departure. Is that what you want? No. I, I certainly... It's as Kate said. I, I always do the wrong thing where she's concerned. Now look here. I'll take care of your case once we're back at Vegas. Cabby, why have we stopped? The road to the square is blocked, sir. Why? There's been a bad road accident. Oh, splendid. We'd better hurry. There may be injured who need help. He has stopped breathing. There's no heart. His pupils are constricted, but they are moving. He is still alive. I must act quickly to save him. Holmes, don't just stand there. Do something. Don't worry. I'm okay. Please move to a safer area, sir. Please! Help! I would have died if not for you. I can't lift it with my bare hands. Perhaps Holmes will find a way to free this pawn man. Perhaps Holmes will find a way to free this pawn man. Please help me. Help! I'm so. Please help me. My leg. I'm certain that Watson is far more capable of handling this situation.
please help me. My leg. My name is Dr. Watson. Let help. me examine. Ah, it hurts. There's some ex Thank you, Doctor. Perhaps Holmes will find a way to free this poor man. Help! Remove a part of the scaffold with the approval. Thanks for your help. Older. I'd better call for Watson. Oh, my shoulder. I'm a doctor. Will you allow me to look at your shoulder? Thank you for your help. Holmes, it appears the police have arrested someone. Perhaps it is the person responsible for this disaster. Let me go. You're talking nonsense. Insulting a police constable, eh? That's quite enough. What's happening here, constable? Mr. Holmes! This gentleman here is the fellow who built the scaffolding which collapsed and caused this accident. That ain't true. How were you hurt? This hammer hit me on the leg. How? Oh. It flew out from the scaffolding I put up. When the damn thing collapsed, the hammer flew out and coshed me you leg. You were standing over there at the time. Oh, I. Yeah, that's right. So it would not have been possible for him to bring the scaffolding down, Constable? Perhaps it was poorly constructed. Oh, right. Yes, of course. And what made it fall? Perhaps it was you. Waving around that rotten stick of yours. You'll wind up getting a taste of it if you carry on like this. One moment, Constable. The scaffolding here has been entirely dislodged. It is unlikely that this disaster could have been the fault of this gentleman. Allow me to inspect the area. And if you could possibly be of use, close off the surrounding section. Do not grant anyone access, nor allow them to leave. Is that quite clear? Absolutely, Mr. Holmes. The old gas lamps in this square have been upgraded to electricity. I won't be able to release it with my bare hands. That's it. Good day to you, sir. Would you mind answering some questions? I'm investigating this accident. Are you the driver of this cart? Yeah. I was transporting vegetables from my farm to the London market. What can you tell me about the accident? I don't know. There was a collision. I felt the ground. I come over all dizzy. What did you collide with? Um, that contraption up in front of me. He stopped all of a sudden, and I tried to avoid him, but I wasn't quick enough. Do you have any idea what might have caused this cab to stop so sharply? 
No, no idea. What a bloody carnage. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? It all happened so quickly. There was an explosion and my horse startled and threw me back against those wardrobes. This jaunting car would be capable of traveling at great speed. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? No, you can't. Go away. Celebratory bunting. The overturned lamps may well have caused the fire and explosion. This horse was blinded by the flag, causing it to bolt into the window. A dead driver, another victim of the explosion. Technical cab's sudden halt caused this disaster, but the lamppost fell down afterwards. So why did the cab stop? The pumpkins fell here after the sprung cart collided. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? It all happened so quickly. There was an explosion and... My all startled and threw me back against those wardrobes. There's a metal strapping. This man was killed by electricity, as shown by the distinct mark on his hand. This man was armed with a revolver. Webley, I suspect. A tattoo. I suspect it's from a gang. This cab was painted recently. There is some text underneath the paint here be important. I'll need to find a way to remove this fresh paint. Rasco, yes, I know him. He's a small-time local criminal. Some kind of solvent. A piece of fabric drenched in solvent. Mud. Oh, smells bad. A pneumatic hammer. This crank has been turned.
Underground Electric Railways Company of London. There is some electrical wiring here beneath the manhole. not seen such a device before. The electrical charge which affected the technical cab came from here. I can see the technical cab very well from here. A single glass containing traces of alcohol. An open bottle of cheap wine. Holmes, I was looking for you. I have an idea about the accident. Never mind. This one is murder. What? What? You? You're a murderer, eh? You're right? off your head. Are you sure, Holmes? Oh, yes. A murder and an accident, because the killer, by electrocuting the cab, created this chaos. And so this multiple crash is now our great chance. Our great chance? Of what, Holmes? The culprit could not have planned for this to happen, don't you see? And it is possible that he is still here due to the prompt arrival of the police. Now I see five men who could be our murderer. Let us take a look at the map.
Constable, I suspect three people here. Take them to Scotland Yard for questioning. As long as I don't leave empty-handed, all's good and well. I know that look, Holmes. Have you found something new? That's right. In order to trap the cab, the killer must have known the precise route it would take. Or even, that could suggest the cab must have set out not far from here, in this very street, perhaps. Remarkable. Holmes, I'm terribly sorry, but I must go to the hospital now to help tend to the wounded. I understand, Watson. But don't forget our earlier discussion. Hmm? About Kate. Ah, oh, Mr. Holmes, we have a slight problem. What happened? One of the suspects, Mr. Reginald Butcher, has escaped. It was after we asked him to put his belongings in the evidence room. I'm sorry. How did he escape? Um, he hit me in the face. Took me by surprise, you know, otherwise I, uh... Of course. That's all? Just before he left the yard, he shouted, Sorry, I'll come back later. Sorry, I'll come back later. He could have said that without punching me. Is Inspector Lestrade here? No, he will be absent for a couple of days. Can we keep this incident between us? A book. Karl Heinzen's 1848 De Maud, with a bookmark. Electrical wires. This terrible passage is apparently appreciated by Garrett. My life has changed thanks to Pastor Gordon and my faith. Whiskey. Of poor quality. Murad. Quite a popular brand of cigarette. Thick leather gloves. They're probably insulated. The initials M.B. This letter from yesterday perhaps explains why Butcher was in such a hurry. At any rate, I now have an exact address. Reginald Butcher is fond of sweets. This pen is an expensive one, but it isn't new. Reginald Butcher had problems with his job. Good day to you. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and I am assisting the police with their investigation. I'm Benjamin Fowler, and I was arrested by mistake. I swear it. You have not been arrested, Mr. Fowler. You are here as a witness. Oh, but I saw nothing. I swear. Let me go. Could you tell me what you were doing at the scene of the accident? I was working on the square's statue. I worked for the council. I swear it. Do you ever work with electricity? Yes, sometimes. I repair electric lamp posts, but I'm not a specialist. I swear it. It's new, isn't it? And complex and dangerous. I understand. Mr. Holmes, I know you're a great detective and you understand me, so please let me go. I know nothing. I swear... Yes, you swear it. I know.
Mr. Fowler, does the name Rasco ring any bells with you? First time I ever heard it, I swear. But your tattoo resembles his. You are in his gang, are you not? Um, um, uh, no. It, it was a long time ago. I already forgot. I swear it. I just picked a few pockets for him when I was a young fellow. But I ain't proud of what I did. All my family, my parents, my brothers, dogs and cats all died when I was a lad. I wouldn't have survived otherwise. Please, escort this suspect for interrogation. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes. Thomas Garrett. Why am I here? <coughs> you are a witness to murder. Of course. Well, it wouldn't be the first time that the police jailed an innocent man in order to close a case. No one has been charged yet. Yet? <coughs> Did you perhaps see anything in particular during or after this disaster? Yes. I saw part of your bourgeoisie burn up and explode. It was spectacular. Why did you remain in the square? Why not seek shelter? Like the rest of the sheep. There were some wounded comrades, workers. I wanted to help them. Do you have any electrical knowledge? How do you know about that? Are you a mind reader? <coughs> there are electrical wires amongst your belongings. Clever. Yes. I teach electrics to my comrades, since I'm currently without paid work. I'm self-taught. So we're not as dumb as you might think. And I don't want to work for bosses anyway. You have a severe cough. Are you suffering? It's only a cold. <coughs> Why not be honest with me? You are spitting up black fluid. Ah, well observed. Yes, I have enough coal dust in my lungs to fuel an entire London district. You were a miner then? Since the age of 13, yes. At the Newcastle Mines. 15 years of hell. Those were bloody times. But now it's over. I don't want to die in those holes like my father and my brothers did, in order to line the pockets of the rich. I'm apparently in the children's ward. <laughs> Mr. Reginald Butcher, I've come from Scotland Yard. Might we talk? All right. But not too loudly. She's finally asleep. Is she your daughter? My pretty little Mel. She's very ill. Now look, I'm sorry I ran, but I had to see Dr. Blowberry today and the policeman wouldn't listen. Don't worry. I understand now. What do you do for a living, Mr. Butcher? I... I work at the office of the Underground Electric Railways Company. Then you must be familiar with electrical devices. I am indeed. Why do you ask? It is of no consequence, but tell me, what are the reasons behind the problems you are experiencing at work? Problems? What do you mean? You have already received a written warning. Yes. I'm often late to work. My boss doesn't understand my situation. It's difficult since my daughter became ill. I see. Coincidentally, we found one of your company's cabs in the square where the accident occurred. Really? Why was it there? I have no idea. Do you? No. But 
A week ago, we had a technical cab stolen, along with its tools. Do you think that could be the one? It's possible. Meryl Butcher. Admission file at Karolinska University Hospital in Stockholm. <laughs> Mr. Butcher's wife. A young woman lost her life. Apparently in the children's ward. Can she be cured? It'll take a long time, but I'm confident that we'll win this fight. I can't bear to think otherwise. Yes, it's probably just a question of money. What are you talking about? It's a question of willpower, and my daughter will win. What does this mean? I'm sorry. Fresh paint, but from something else. Mud. Oh, smells bad. There was a collision here. The technical cab collided and stopped here. The lock was forced. workshop. Saleable items are produced here. Mud. Oh, smells bad. It 
looks as though the carpet was placed here intentionally. An old access point to the sewers. Red powder. Given the circumstances, most probably iron oxide. Or just rust. Metal powder. Looks like aluminium. Magnesium strips. The iron wall of the vault has been melted through. So, it was the goal of Rasco's gang to rob the bank. The thieves have opened almost all of the deposit boxes. They must have taken a great many valuables. An old map of the sewers with a red cross. All of the licorice has been eaten. Murad, quite a popular brand of cigarette. This cigarette stub is dry and was discarded fairly recently. The tobacco's aroma is still strong. It's uh, sweet and nutty. A banco. Dry, so it hasn't been here very long. Metal rings, they're used to hold the barrel in one piece. These barrels are empty and unsealed. The thieves used these barrels for the loot, which they then threw into the water. I need to warn Lestrade about this. This terrible passage is apparently appreciated by Garrett. The belongings of the victims, Rasco and his acolyte. Rasco is fond of licorice. Huh. The licorice was found both at the sewers and amongst Rasco's belongings. A Webley revolver. A police report about Rasco. He's only a minor criminal. <laughs> a standard deck of playing cards. A normal pocket knife.
Mr. Fowler, you assisted Rasco in robbing the bank, and then you killed him to keep the money for yourself. You are under arrest. What? But it's not true. I never killed anyone. I swear it. Thank you.